Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Douglas Macbeth, and uh, this is my review of the first week of our MOOC. So, first of all, thanks very much for everyone who's been participating. I've been glancing over a, a number of the comments, and it's really nice to see people uh, contributing their experience, their concerns, their ideas, their um, their and identifying issues. Some of which we'll come back to later on in this MOOC. So it's really nice to see that discussion going, and this is the benefit of this kind of course, to share experiences over a wide geographical area in very many sectors. So please keep it up. Uh, it's what makes it all live and exciting. Uh, I picked up a few issues. Uh, I've commented on them in, in the, the discussions, but it's worth just highlighting them here, I think. Uh, there's some still issues about the, the word partnership and uh, as a legal entity a partnership has some scary features in it. Uh, in the UK language it's described as joint and several liability. In other words if you're in a partnership, legal partnership, and some one individual does something wrong, every other individual in that partnership is liable for all of the costs and that can simply wipe people out, bankrupt them. So it's not a favoured place to be and it certainly doesn't describe uh, a buyer-supplier relationship. Uh, so I tend to avoid the word partnership and tend to talk about a partnering type relationship or words like that. Uh, the idea is to get the benefits of the mutual destiny thing that a partnership suggests, uh, but without the legal liability issues. So our partnering relationship type uh, is meant to be close and uh, mutually beneficial, but it can be dissolved without major uh, legal implications, although it can be quite difficult to uh, break up a relationship and find another partner very quickly. So that's, uh, be, just be very careful about terminology and it's true in all sorts of bits of life. Um, it's easy to believe that by using a standard word that everyone thinks the same things, but it's not true. You really have to be careful that both sides in a relationship and any kind of business to business discussion really do understand what the other side is meaning. And it's worth checking out that understanding regularly. That's a general point, not just about partnerships. There's also been some discussion about whether things have to be equal. And again, I think this is wrong. Uh, in, in relationships, not everything has to have the same benefit, or not everyone has to have the same benefit. Uh, there could be good re reasons why that's not appropriate. Uh, one side may have made major investments they've, uh, over a long period of time, perhaps, and these investments need to have some kind of return on them. Uh, so in many cases, an agreement will pay, in a sense, pay more to one party than the other. But the key point is not equality, but equity. Both sides have to believe that they're being treated with fairly, that their concerns are recognised, that they can discuss things. And that having come to a discussion and weighed the various arguments up, then there is an agreement which both parties to the agreement agree to. And whether that's equal, ideally, if perhaps, uh, it doesn't have to be equal, as long as both sides believe it to be fair, equitable. So again, the words become very important. And another thing that uh, emerges, uh, beginning to emerge from the discussions, is that uh, all business relationships should not, need not, be the same. This is a point we'll come back to in, the, in week two, or we'll come to in week two, when we talk about uh, uh, portfolios of relationships. Because I'm a firm believer that you have to analyse how important the other party is to you, customer or supplier, um, before you can decide how to allocate your resources to support them. Uh, so by that argument, not all customers or suppliers are equally important to you. 
and therefore your behavior should change. Um, one size does not fit all in relationship terms. So that's part of what's coming in week two. Also in week two, uh, we have an assignment for you to do, which is about stakeholder analysis. And this is done by peer review, where you're getting a chance to share your opinions uh, with others in the, the course program. So I hope you enjoy that process. And remember also, um, if you haven't had time to keep up uh, in real time with the, the MOOC, uh, you can do it in your own time later on. Uh, so we've got a busy week coming in week two. Hope you find it interesting. Hope you find week one interesting. But I uh, hope you also find the rest of the course interesting. And I look forward to reading more of your comments. So thanks for that and uh, good luck with what's coming now. Bye for now.